Yo, what's up guys? I'm back, uh, and today we're gonna go over some dribbling, because you know what? You guys suck at it. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually say that about you guys. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are all awesome gamers at, drib at dribbling or Rocket League, whatever, but I'm kind of, you guys, the chase, you guys suck at dribbling, so I'm here to help you out. So we're just gonna go into training here. I'm gonna show you guys some, uh, some free play drills, some stuff you can do in free play, get better, work on your dribs, and yeah, just gonna get into it here real quick. But I'm just gonna basically go from like the like the bottom of the dribbling chain to like the top, right? Like stuff that it, from maybe like silver to gold you'd start doing, and then I'll get into like some some higher level stuff. But uh, yeah, just real quick, um, as always. I prefer to start my dribbles out from one side of the court and then continue them on like this way out with the rest of the court, right? So you can use all that space, right? And uh, just use it in practice, right? So um, first things first for uh, people who don't have the best dribbling abilities, uh, here's what you can work on is just work on like so I'm just gonna assume that people that were like gold or so aren't really adept with like um, getting the ball up off the ground and then onto their cars like this, right? I'm just gonna assume that you can't do that. So uh, best case scenario, just want you to work on your um, your dribbling on the ground. Like just no pops, just work on this, right? Coming here, right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to work on coming out to the side and then popping it to the right like that, right? So this is like super basic, not much mechanics there, um, but it still works. So just come out here, give the ball some push with your uh, R2 button or your gas and then come out here and then work on getting that cut down, right? So come out to the side, cut, get a little drive in, come out to the side, cut again. Don't really need much boost there, don't need to do nothing too fancy. And then once you get a little bit better at that, we're gonna work on getting a little bit faster here. So get a nice good push like that, and then come out here and then work on, there we go, right? Super, super banger, no jumps required, no dribbling the ball on top of your car, on top of your head, right? Gets a lot of power, 67 miles per hour. You know, at the right angle, right timing, that can really, uh, Get your team, not your teammates, sorry, your, uh, your opponents off guard, right? So, if you're not very mechanical, if you can't get the ball on top of your head like this, then that's kind of what I want you to practice, is just going from one side of the field, getting a nice slow dribble, get nice, get nice and close, push it like this with your boost, and then once you come out here, try to catch back up to it, and then shoot it, or just, you know, get some kind of power on it, right? Uh... So yeah, I'd say anyone like me between gold platinum, like it's a good, that's a good thing to practice is just work on these uh, hook shots a little bit. Just get, stay nice and close, get a little push and then come out like this, right? That's good stuff. All right, so um, like I said, don't doesn't require you to get the ball on top of your head and it still works and it's still good practice. So yeah, all right, part number two. Uh, now we're gonna just gonna move on to when we actually can get the ball on top of our head, uh, and kind of like what we can do with that. So, uh, actually, before I even get into that, let's uh, get into like quick like bounce dribble kind of sort of thing. So, the next level beyond that is just getting the ball on top of your car like this, right? Working on popping it up like this, boom, pop, get on top of your head, and then keeping it right. That's kind of the next next step after that, right? Work on getting these little cuts so that you can drive up underneath the ball, right? So, it's not much to cutting other than just like... Um, so, here is how the ball physics works when it comes to dribbling, right? So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I push the ball like this, it's rolling out away from me. So, whenever the ball is rolling away from you, no matter how hard you try it, Right? If you keep pushing it like this, it's never it's never gonna pop up on your car. It just doesn't work, right? So if we want to pop the car on top of our head, right? 
there's two ways I could explain this. So one, the ball is rolling toward, away away from you like this, right? It's rolling away from you. There's no way you can get on top of your car if you just push it. But in most cases, if it's rolling at you like this, you just get a little nudge. It doesn't really take much. It's gonna it's gonna pop up nicely for you, right? So I'd say really basic from here, just roll it out like this, boost out in front of it, work on getting a turn, right? And then what I, want, what I want you to practice is just driving at the ball with your gas, right? And work on getting a pop and then catching it, right? Don't worry about like how long you can hold it for, just, just work on getting into the ball, right? That's all we really need. So let me get a little pop here, boom. Right, so we're just working on this part, is uh, right here. So it's rolling at you, just drive into it, and then work on getting under it, right? That is the hard part. Got it. So, obviously, in most setups, you're not going to have all the space in the world to go from here to here. And be like, oh, now the ball's rolling towards me, so now I can get a pop, right? Like, obviously, in, in high-level gameplay, you're not going to get all that time to get a pop like that. So, what better players do is they're able to, in this case, this ball is rolling in a way that I can just boost and pop it. And that's because, um, how do I even explain that? So, literally the only instance where the ball will not, never get on top of your head is if you just drive straight like this. Like this. Like, that will never... That will never get on top of your car. So what you have to do is just kind of have to get a little cut in, right? Just cut it in the corner. Boom. Cut. Boom. Cut. And boom. Cut, right? And the reason that I'm able to get this is because it's hitting on the corner of my car instead of, like, straight at it like this. Right? That doesn't work. So if you can work on, like, driving at it and then kind of... Yeah, just like that. Yeah, it's not easy to explain, but like, I think you guys can kind of see what I'm getting here. Just, just like, boop, turn, oh, let it go, turn back at it. You know, just, just, just let the car do the work. Just let, let the gas do all the work. You know, let your car, let the side of your car hit. So a lot of this is just tapping my gas, and then work on the mechanics of actually getting underneath the ball. So, just kind of look at the, my examples here. See if you can try and replicate any of it. Um, yeah, work on work on this. Cut. Boom. Cut. Like that. Alright, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. So, yeah, in any case where the ball has, so let's say it is rolling towards me, right? Or away from me. Actually, no, no, no. Hold on. If it's standing still like this. Still. So, that's rolling towards me, but it's nice and slow. So if I just give it a little push, a little bit, maybe a little bit of boost, it doesn't really need that much boost, probably just boop like that, and then get under, right? So if you can just work on your cuts, doing these, right? Catch, boom, catch like that, and then work on these, kind of having a slow start, and then being able to turn that into a dribble as well. So there, like that, perfect. So I would say that that's kind of like the next level of your dribbles, what you practice, right? Uh, yeah, cuts, and then the thing I just showed you where you got a nice slow ball, like it's going really slow like this, and then you just drive into it and then get that to on top of your car. Anyways, all right, next level. Um, so now that you're good at popping the ball on top of your car, you got your pops down, right? You're gonna have to work on your, uh, your actual dribbling skills. Like once you get the ball on top of your car, you know, this is where the real real kicker of practice comes in, right? Because doing this, this takes time. This takes practice, right? It's no real good way to explain how this works other than, you know, you just gotta put the time in really and just you know. Obviously one type I give you is just to stay under the circle there. Obviously that's easier said than done for most players, so you know. But yeah, this is kind of the next step from here is work on work on your control of carrying the ball right 
Like that that's just, this is where the real skill gap really starts to come in is these. Right? Alright. You guys get that. Alright, next step. Uh, alright, so now you're adept at carrying the ball like this, right? You're a pro at it, whatever. Too easy. Okay. We get that. Alright, you can do that, right? Alright. So now that you can do that. Now that you don't suck at it, now that you're pretty good at it, right? Carry the ball and no sweat, hopefully. <laughs> um, this is where we can really start utilizing um, timing. And we can start utilizing um, our space and get some like actual flicks, right? Because you can't flick a ball if you can't pop and catch it, and you can't flick a ball if you can't dribble like that, right? Because if you drop it, then it doesn't work. So once we get to this point, right? You're like, okay, easy, pop. Okay, you got the dribble going. Okay, now here's where we really gotta focus on the flick, right? That's the next step. Got it, so... Obviously, I'm not gonna get into all the different types of flicks you can do. You can do like 180 flicks, you can do 45 degree flicks, you can do whatever flicks you want, but in the terms of being competitive, um, I'll go over that real quick. But this is where I'm gonna kinda cap off, where like, you know, where it really is the tip of the iceberg here of like what it, you should be doing, what you should be aiming for in terms of playing competitively. So I'm not gonna go over anything freestyling or any of that. I'm just gonna go over like, okay, this is what I would do in competitive. Or this is what I would do in free play to practice for a competitive game, right? So, like before, start from way back here, right? We're gonna get that pop, we're gonna go down the field, and then we're gonna really work on this 45 degree flick, right? I mean, you don't even need to do that much, if I'm being honest with the 45 degree flick. You could probably do any other type of flick, but this really, if you can get good at these 45s, it's really gonna throw, throw the other team off. Right, so, um, like if you, if sir, I'm, I'm being dead serious right now. If you time your 45 degree flicks, right, to shoot straight at the net, like it just, it's a game changer. So, I'm basically just prioritizing 45 degree flicks more than the other ones, just because I find that 45 degree flicks are more competitively uh, viable rather than some of the other ones, but anyways, I'm done ranting about that. So here's kind of like my practice regimen, is I'll work on this carry, go all the way down the field, and then work on my 45s, right? That's what I like to do. Because a lot, in a lot of cases, if you're working on, if you're working on a push back towards the other, the other side, right? You want, you want it to be threatening, right? You don't want it to be some, you know, little kids toss at the other team, right? Otherwise, they're just gonna save it. But uh, yeah, so obviously everything that I just did just now, like going from this side of the field, right? Up to here, boom. And then knowing, getting your timing down and your execution down of your 45s, obviously easier said than done, but that's really what you should be kind of working towards because, and the reason for that is because and competitive, if that if your opponent has to deal with with that setup, that flick from this point, you know, first of all, they're already going to be going to shadow defense from this point, right? And they have to defend that. Like, if you can flick like that, most players won't expect that, and they won't be able to defend it. So, like, they have no choice but to respect that. Like, to respect that flick. And if they don't, they're just gonna get. They're just gonna get flicked over and it's gonna be an open net whatever right and then to everyone who's like yo like i get dunked all the time like i don't have time i don't have time to hit a flick like that or like or if you're just like oh no you're waiting too long to flick like no i'm not because um long story short man if you are dribbling like this at the opponents and like the idea of flicking doesn't come to you until like you know a whole second after they dunk you like then you weren't really either you weren't paying attention to the other team or whoever was in front of you or you just too took too long to make a decision right because if by this point by right here boom so if you're not if you have not flicked by like right here about like you're waiting too long 
And if you're starting a dribble in the corner like this, right? So let's say you're getting out of your net, out of your half, and uh, you start a dribble kind of like this, and you just keep it on your head. You don't, like, if you're not paying attention, you're going to get dunked and you're going to get scored on, whatever. Anyways, that's just an awareness thing. But, so my point being, if you can do this, right? If you can do this here. So if you can work on going from this side, if you just work on those, you're gonna you're gonna catch a lot of people off guard. And I do those all the time. That's how I score on some of my counter pushes. So you know, definitely put some put some time in there. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, that's just kind of about it. Like, obviously, I could get into, like, power shots and stuff, but I'm not really going to do that. Where, like, okay, you got a pop here, right? You're like, boom, right? I'm not going to get into that right now, but that is the same, like, mechanic tree of, like, like, oh, hey, you know, I got a, I got a free ball here, right? You know, get a little bounce dribble going, boop, and then power shot that in, right? So... At the very least, I'd say work on your bounce dribbles and work on your 45s if you can. And if you can't do any of that stuff, just work on the other stuff I showed you. Uh, and yeah, so that's my subtle roast to you guys saying that you guys suck at dribbling. But that, this is just me helping you guys out. Uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. And if you did, leave a like. And uh, yeah, get a new computer soon. And, yep. Alright, bye guys.